Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. Today we're going to talk about checking your social media security settings. Now this is something you probably all take for granted and probably never done before, so I strongly suggest you take a few seconds. Literally, it doesn't take that long at all, just to see how your stuff is set up with your specific security settings. So let's go to the first one, Facebook. So Facebook, when you go into your settings, on the left-hand side it says Apps and then it'll show you all the applications that you've used when they ask you if you'd like to sign in with your Facebook account so they're essentially connected to Facebook so you should probably go through this anything you don't need anymore anything that doesn't make sense to you you might want to get rid of and that's the first thing the second thing is when it comes to Facebook when you do uh, log into a site with your Facebook credentials it actually tells you that it's going to in this case it's going to use your public profile your friend list and your email address this is the key right here edit this so if you were to click edit this then it'll show you the information you're going to provide and you can actually deselect things so for example my friend list obviously I don't use Facebook a lot it's only got 74 in there but I can uncheck that because I don't want them to have access to my friend list and I can also take off my email address as well so that's something you might want to pay attention to when you use Facebook to log into different websites moving on good old Google so with Google when you go into again your account settings you go into sign in and security and it shows you the recent security events now this is kinda neat it actually gives you a little kind of an audit trail of everything that was done in this case the name was changed the password was changed so on and so on and so on for the past 28 days so if there's anything real suspicious in there you might want to change your password to avoid somebody having access to your account the other thing it shows you is recently used devices so it shows you in this case a Windows device in this case it's a phone Galaxy S4 and that's a tablet so it shows you all the different devices when they accessed it um, three minutes ago versus a date and again you can use this to validate your account usage the other thing it shows you is the um, actual location where these devices accessed your Google account this is incredibly important uh, again I'm traveling so now it says St. Petersburg if I was home it would have said Canada uh, that sort of thing so again you can use this just to make sure that the right devices are accessing your account and then lastly just like Facebook what applications are connected to your account so again anything that you don't use anymore anything that doesn't make any sense anymore you might want to remove those applications from your account now if you did remove an app and you really did need it then guess what you can always put it back in it's not a big deal this is not a you know a big deal breaker and we've got good old LinkedIn that's another popular social media account <clears throat> excuse me so you can go to your LinkedIn third parties and again it's going to show you all the third party apps it's just like Facebook just like Google because you can use LinkedIn as well to log into certain accounts same deal applies there and lastly good old Yahoo it's got the same idea as Google it's got that recent activity log so you know what devices access when they access what applications are accessing your Google account or you use the Google access your Yahoo account pardon me we've got our account security and this is a uh, kind of a, an interesting little uh, uh, I'm gonna say option that you might want to just be careful with it says allow apps that use less secure sign-in so it sounds like something you're gonna want to turn off but you know just be careful it doesn't say this here but if you use Microsoft Outlook or an email program to get your Yahoo Mail downloaded for example and you turn that off then email won't work anymore so just be careful turning that on and off you might want to make sure you know that it doesn't break something and lastly it shows you again a history of all the accounts um, I'm sorry the apps that connected to my account so that's it so you might want to just again take a few minutes go to your social media settings make sure everything's cool and that's pretty well it so have yourself a good day. Bye for now.